Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy April the 12th. Um, so I'm 34 now, uh, highly mature, and um, I can't put my shoes on. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. I'm done. Anyway, so we're going off to, uh, to visit my parents this weekend because it was my birthday yesterday and all that. And um, I haven't seen them for a while because we were in Italy and, you know, so that's, that's this weekend's plan. Mr. Mischief. <laughs> and then okay. afterwards... What are you doing, Walter? <clears throat> what happened afterwards? We went... We uh, went outside. Yes, we went uh, it was, And you just sat round and there were drinks and canapes and things. What's in that? In this beautiful garden. Walter. And then we all went <laughs> inside. To a bar. So <laughs> Bar, and we had a meal, and then the English wedding took place. <laughs> By which time, it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's by the flames. Oh, well, oh it's just, if it comes in. Out on the Kelp Home site, is it? So, property number two is Griffin Court. Now, the co-op parts of the two ends, which we've been looking at. This is, we're in Hammersmith now, or Chiswick, actually, just off the Chiswick High Road. Very nice on a day like today. Lovely, um, a load of bird seed. There you go, the water tower. Wembley. Yeah. Wembley. That sound is the main, main train line. There's the Heathrow Taken flight path. So you can see the main control tower Heathrow over there. seen so many cars in one spot. Impressive isn't it? And this is the uh, Great Western Railway, where they got Paddington. Pretty impressive stuff. Pretty amazing view and then you can see all the way back to the city. Last bit by Nizelworth. So that was a really, really interesting day visiting all of well, all of visiting a select number of the co-ops that co-op homes look after, and giving a feel for the environment in which people live and the the areas that they, you know, that they care about and what have you. So when you see it on a piece of paper later on, you have a better feeling of of what it is that they're talking about. Otherwise, it's just words and numbers and whatnot. So that was great, and. Um, yeah, I want a perfect day for it. This is why I've elected to walk home. Because I'm only in Isleworth, so it's not very far. And make the most of the lovely sunshine. It has been quite a long time since I've been for a walk in this country. Plenty of walking in Italy, obviously, but yeah, it's nice around here. It's good for a walk. So Venice might have Aqua Alta, as they call it, high water. We've got that in Richmond. We have, we've had it for ages. We're totally all about high water and flooded pathways and you know, the, the path actually becoming part of the river. Excellent. So Venice is awesome, and on looks alone I could live there. But, let's be honest, I haven't got it too bad, have I really? And this is pretty impressive, I've got the water, but I've got 
greenery than Venice doesn't. Plus the tourists outnumber the residents in Venice by as much as three or four to one sometimes of the year. And there isn't really an off season, so can you see the tourists? Exactly. Hello there. It occurs to me that my birthday sort of came and went and I didn't really discuss, you know, presents and things. I thought you might be interested, you might not be. Me might not be interested in anything, I have to say, in which case this whole vlog is redundant. Anyway, uh, so let's, let's just have a quick... So the first thing is I have a renewal for my sponsored vine in Newent, which will be going to at the end of May again down to the vineyard. Um, so I have that vine sponsored for another year and it's a fantastic opportunity to go to that place because it's awesome. Um, and then also from Crystal's parents I've got this amazing print uh, which we actually saw um, when we were out in Richmond the other day and you get a bit of an idea from the box but it's a, a sort of cartoonized version of Richmond upon Thames it's it's really really nice it's quite big and I need to get a frame um, and then I also got this now you're probably thinking oh my god why does he get another camera um, the reality is um, when you're doing video work you need a second camera for a shoot um, and uh, this is actually a really really handy way of doing that because it is very small very compact um, but it has all the features of um, an entry level DSLR so I still have my big camera but this one allows me to have a second camera on the shoot in full HD um, and also it means I've got a holiday camera that I'm prepared to carry around they always say that the best camera to use is the camera that you have with you. Um, now, usually that is this. Um, and uh, very often when I go for a walk or what have you, I'll think, oh, am I going to take the big camera? No, I'm not going to take the big camera. So this becomes, this is the best camera. It's the camera I have with me. But the advantage of having a very small camera is that you take it out more. Um, and that means the best camera I have with me is actually an 18 megapixel Canon, uh, which, is, which is, of course, awesome. And then uh, aside from that, I've got a few other bits coming from my parents, which include an adapter to put, you know, massive lenses on a tiny camera and a tripod bag and uh, some other bits and bobs. So, yeah, it's been a very, it's been a very good birthday. It's very nice. I, I, I never have any expectation for my birthday because it, I, I'm kind of in denial usually. <laughs> but anyway, so that, that's been, that has been the haul. Hi. So... Um, I'm in Vauxhall again today. I was in here last week. I was in here yesterday, in fact. I don't think I've mentioned fully what I'm doing. I'm doing some uh, video editing stuff for Neil. Um, sort of on an ad hoc basis. So a couple of projects I've been working on this week. This is Vauxhall, so it's really fucking noisy. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing. So this is nice, isn't it? Away from the noise of Vauxhall. Finally back to the Thames path. I haven't been here for fair few weeks now, probably three weeks or so. It's lovely today. One of the mixed blessings obviously of being so busy <laughs> is that you get paid regularly. You don't get to do this, which is one of the, I'll be honest, one of the reasons why I didn't want a nine to five job anymore. Because it's quite important to me to be able to go out, have a walk, make use of the best part of the day. I'm quite happy to work in the worst part of the day, be that 11 p.m. at night or whatever. I just don't want to have to work this time of day when it's so awesome and spring as I've mentioned many times my favorite time of year so this is a perfect excuse get off the train and stop early and a walk anyway so that's my uh, two days at Webfit this week I'm doing two days a week for the time being we'll see how it goes and uh, and how much I'm needed and tomorrow I think I mentioned popping back into the belly of the beast I'm a massive hypocrite, I'm going back to global despite my huge rant a few weeks ago, so we'll see how that pans out. And now it's that time you've all been waiting for. It's Carrie Simpson, she's amazing at playing the ukulele. Hello vlog fans. So I just want to apologise for my absence last week. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there, I think I was out and stuff. But this week I have got two fantastic songs for you, never before heard on the vlog. So I want everybody to sing along because I know you're going to know these numbers. The first one is Home on the Range. Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Play. Where 
Not sure what happened before. I think I haven't got enough memory on my phone, so it cut out. But this next one I'm gonna do, I'm being I've tried it a few times, I'm being totally put off because I'm sure I can hear somebody else playing the ukulele in the street. I'm like, get out of here, there's only one ukulele in this town. You know what I'm saying? So this next one is the lion sleeps tonight, and I want Toby to put the words on the bottom of the screen to help everybody out. And I'm only gonna do mm, one little bit of the verse in the chorus, the bits that you all know. Ready? Am five, six, seven, eight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Oh, we, he, 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 we, ma, wo, ma, we. So then, good morning, just, it's like 11.58 or something. Um, I'm going for a bit of a walk this morning. Just made some bread for the first time in, seems like about a month. And now I'm gonna go and see how Q looks before I go into Global. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Look at the, the secret glade, look at all the, there's bluebells in there and whatever that random yellow thing is growing up. Spring is awesome. Check this out, full bluebellness. Just seize a bit. A couple more weeks and they'll all be open. How can you not be relaxed when you see all of Sorry, my camera seemed to not like me filming my relaxation. Anyway, it's very beautiful, it's very peaceful. I've got to go back and check on the bread. <laughs> Can't just sit here all day taking pictures of bluebells. Now I know we've been moaning on about it and probably withering you down slightly, but the Heart app, make sure you download it if you haven't already. The reason being, you could miss out on stuff and we don't want that. First of all, who's on Heart? £100,000, it's back on Tuesday. It's still gonna be there. So that's the first thing you need to download the Heart app for. Yes. And the second thing is Easter Monday, we're talking about uh, Heart Easter Chicks. Some of the world's biggest female artists live. Would you like to go and see them? Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Kylie Minogue, Lily Allen. And we'll even throw in a night at a hotel in London. Hearts Easter Chicks, all day Easter Monday. Make sure you listen, fantastic prizes for you. Taylor Dane, Tyre Cruz. So you did two nights at... Um, what Japanese. professionalism. Two nights. 